Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. My name's Brad. And I am Jazz. And we are both now full-time resellers. So this will be my first week of full-time reselling. And Excited. I'm really keen to get into it. <laughs> but today we're going to do what sold for July. We're going to share 15 bolos for you, things to be on the lookout for. Five nolos, five things that we really wouldn't pick up again. And then we'll share our overall July figures with you guys as well. So you guys know what to pick up when you're out thrifting and garage sailing. So first off the bat, we picked up this Sony five disc changer a little while ago. We paid $60 for it and ended up selling for $259 with which left us $132.15 profit on that one. Very nice. If you were watching our recent vlogs, you would have seen us talk about Sportscraft and Liberty Fabric. We sold this shirt for $50. We paid $9.50, so we made $25 profit. Yeah, happy with that one. And in another video where we took diary of a flipper shopping, mm. we bought a pair of RM Williams boots. They were in the box. We paid $35, sold it for $170, so we made $87.50. Yeah, I love finding the RM in the thrift store. <laughs> Next up uh, was this Paper Mario N64, which was actually from my personal N64 collection. Uh, I was just comping out some of the stuff that I don't actually play or want anymore. And I noticed that that one was very high in price at the moment. So I decided to list it up. I originally paid a hundred bucks for this quite a few years ago. It sold for $325. So made 164.25 on that um, for something that was just sitting around in my cupboard. So very, very happy with that one. It is in demand and it sold super fast. We also have sold some of our retail arbitrage ASICS shoes. This was the ASICS NetBurner Pros 13. We paid $59.95 for these online, had them delivered to our house, and we sold them for $150, which left us $55.55. Yeah, pretty nice sort of uh, return on investment on that one for a RA item, so very and happy. Easy to list. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Next up was this really weird Namco PS1 controller. It had like this little dial in the middle. I I've never seen them before, but I I'm sure there's- I nearly donated this. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that have. We paid $4 for this, like everything else in that lot. Sold it for $69.99 very quickly once we listed it. Forty-seven, forty-nine return on that one. So very happy with that. Same. I would love to find that again. It's for like the racing games. So you can do big drifties around the huh. corners. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Another game we sold at the Harry Potter PlayStation Two game, and we sold this for sixty-five dollars. We only paid two dollars, and we made forty-five twenty-five profit. But this disc was a bit scratched up. I made sure it worked. But if you find this disc in really good condition, you can get more again. So keep an eye out for the Harry Potter PS Two. Yeah, that one was the rarer of the Harry Potter games in the PS2 range, so keep an eye out for that particular one. Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, it goes for crazy money. So next up, N64 bag that again was from my collection. I paid about $10 for this back in the day. Sold it for $69.95, making us $39.46 on that one. It's pretty cool looking. It's very cool. We sold this SMS Santini Jelly Belly sponsored cycling jersey and I didn't notice when we bought it that it had actually been altered yeah. underneath the armpits. He'd actually cut the seams. Must have been a total beefcake this <laughs> dude. We picked it up for $4.79, sold it for $39.95 to the United States. So they paid the shipping and we made $29.17. Yeah, very quick sale as well. Uh, next up we picked up this Tommy Lupin game in box a little while ago for $25. We got three of them for $75. We sold this one for $120 making us a $62 profit. And a BMW filter we picked up for $8 at auction, sold it for $65, making us $32.25. So car parts are still ticking along for us. Some of them have gone faster than others. In Savers, I managed to grab this Gorman collaboration. It's Gorman and Rebecca Callahan, and I uh, snapped it up before Thrifty Pixie. She was <laughs> not pleased at all, but paid $8.05. I used Google Lens to find out the style name. I think it was Crayon Garden. Sold it for $65 and made $39.20 profit. Very nice find, sort of branching out into more of those women's areas, which is nice. Uh, next up was these Wrangler Rugged Wear New With Tags jeans that we actually picked up in Darwin. So if you haven't seen that vid, go and check that one out. We paid $10 for those ones, well $9.80. We sold it for $79.95 and made $50.16 within a couple of weeks. So that was so that. fast. Pretty good for thrifting on holiday. Oh, yeah. Warhammer books, we love them. Mm. We paid $4.80 for this one, local deal, and sold it for $95. So we made $63.95. No, this one came from Savers. Yeah. That was your find. Yeah, that was the Savers one. So um, we're getting a bit mixed up because we have just picked up a whole bunch of Warhammer, Warhammer and D&D. Warhammer everywhere. And that's in our last video if you want to check that one out as well. <laughs> 
Uh, next up, Visu jeans. Now these were newer tags. They took a little time to sort of move. Sixteen eighty we paid, and we made seven. We sold them for seventy dollars. Sorry, making us forty two dollars and seventy cents profit. Keep an eye out for Visu. Very good, like Japanese brand. They sold quite well over it to Japan um, and new with tags obviously no brainer on that one so. yeah that one was new with defects it just had like the tiniest little thread pulled so yeah. I think that's what slowed it down a little bit awesome brand though all right time for Nolo so five items that we wouldn't pick up again there's some people that would do really well with this sort of stuff but it's not really going to suit our model going forward the first one was this Rolling Stones tee from 2016 we picked this up from wholesale obviously with wholesale you're going to get really good and potentially really bad so we paid $16 per item on this one we sold it for 30 so we only made a dollar 50 profit on that particular tee in that range so if we were to find that in a thrift store for the same price we would have left it also, this Cricut box set VHS. Mum and Dad picked this up for a buck and we gave it a crack, but in the end we sold it for $15, so we only made $3.75. For sure. Uh, next up was another tea from that wholesale lot, this Caliban Medicore tea. Uh, again, $16 paid, sold it for $34. So we did make a little bit more on that one, $4.90, but um, yeah, we wouldn't pick it up if we saw it sitting on the rack for the same price. Hot Wheels. Some Hot Wheels are amazing. This one was not. We paid two bucks, sold for nine dollars and made a five sixty-five. So that one was from the Batman range. Yeah, for sure. Next up, Ghost Hunter, uh, sorry, Ghost House <laughs> uh, from Sega Master System. Again, in that bulk lot, paid four bucks. We sold it for 15. So we only made 75 cents on that particular sale. Obviously, everything else in that lot makes up for it. So again, if we were to see that particular item in the thrift store, we would probably end up leaving it. All right, let's get into the July totals. So um, a pretty solid month again, which is really nice, uh, leading into us going full time. We were a bit worried to see what was gonna happen there. But uh, we ended up selling $25,539.09. We sold 422 items, which is a pretty good month for sales. And our ASP ended up being $60.51. That is comfortable. Comfortable enough to quit your job? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's, was our month. Obviously, there was some card stuff in there, some wholesale stuff that we did sell on, which have smaller profits, just um, being open and transparent with you guys. But I'd say that 90% of that was thrifted or local or auction deals. So some good profit uh, in in that so thank you for joining us today we really appreciate it we always like to hear what your bolos and nolos for the month was so drop them in the comments <laughs> we always read every single one and try to reply them all please leave brad a big thumbs up <laughs> for good luck for going full time we're super excited and uh I don't think he's realised that he doesn't have to get up and go to work tomorrow. Yeah, so it's actually <laughs> Sunday today and tomorrow will be my first day of not going to my full-time job. So kind of probably going to hit then, I'd say. But um, <laughs> yeah, really appreciate all the support, all the kind messages that you guys have been sending us on Instagram and, face and Facebook and YouTube. So thanks for the support. We're really keen to get into this and uh, take it to that next level. So once again, thank you for joining us and we will see you next time on Twasy Thrifters. Bye for now.